2011, uh, The Economist published a very influential article entitled Africa Rising with a question mark. Uh, and since then, there has been, if you, if you try to Google out uh, the words Africa Rising, you will get hundreds of results. I have recently acquired uh, a magazine in Africa, and uh, you start seeing this kind of advertisement, you know, with the uh, uh, bright young African guys uh, running business, being active, uh, approaching the world. Uh, we don't see, you know, this kind of images in, uh, in Europe or in this country uh, almost at all. And I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pity because uh, it locks us into an old kind of uh, thinking which doesn't really help, uh, help uh, Africa to move and doesn't help us to move in the relation to Africa. Let's forget about the image um, of uh, children in refugee camps, of famine, of war, and things like that. And uh, looking at what's going on in the continent today with partners from all over the world, it means that even if a country is risky, there are opportunities, at, at least in the short term. Africa is no longer business as usual. Countries want to transform, moving away from the primary sectors to secondary and tertiary sectors. Countries have learned, and uh, I, would, I would rather say leaders know that uh, we buy um, 26 million mobile phones for 25 million people. It's good, but it's good for Huawei. It's good for uh, other manufacturers in other parts of the world. And it's useless if Africa is not producing its own mobile phones. Yeah, I think that there are two main uh, changes. Chinese investment and the crisis in, in Europe and Northern America, which are refocusing uh, us uh, towards, also towards uh, Africa. The past decade has been the most successful decade in the history of all continents, except Europe and perhaps North America. Uh, so we might be a bit skeptical about that uh, uh, and about the upbeat situation uh, or about the upbeat uh, statements here. The African Union was launched in 2002 and with the African Union came the, um, the objective of achieving an African renaissance. It was the first time that we were starting to talk about this again since our founding fathers had actually formed the organization of African unity. And the focus was now shifting to how do we develop Africa? What should Africa's development agenda be? 10 years or 15 years is not a long time for a continent or the continental organization to try and move forward, particularly with 54 or 55 countries. The European Union now has 27 member states, exactly half of the African Union. And yet, sometimes the European Union also has difficulties in taking a step forward because you need to have consensus, you need to have agreement uh, amongst all those with disparate levels of development, with different national interests, etc. Now imagine a continent of 54 countries trying to do the same. So, uh, as uh, recently at an OECD meeting on development, Angel Curia, the, the head of the OECD, noted, uh, we have to highlight the progress, but not, it's not time to celebrate yet. 